surprised. Uh, yeah, the podcast got an upgrade. Yeah, we I let loose the dead weight. <laughs> uh, those two, two hats were holding me back. <laughs> My back's been aching. <laughs> Mostly from hemorrhoids, but also from carrying this podcast <laughs> for months. So, you know, I had to say, boys, kick rocks. And you're getting better Muslim, better white. Okay? From now on, you're rowing better, you're cashew better. <laughs> <laughs> so, it shall be addressed as going forward. Comprende? I'm kidding, please. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome Jam Jam and Callum. That's to usually the That's usually how I get introduced to gigs. They say, Welcome other Rowan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. One of the best Rowan moments was at the giant thing when they were like, when we just started roasting for like having so many black friends. We were like, Rowan, how do you explain this when the pictures pop up on like Instagram and like it's a unhealthy amount of black friends. Like, well, I'm even like, yo, Ron, you got some scary friends, dude. If I had to just see a social media, I'd be like, are you part of a comedy club? Yeah, I'll be like, are you part of a comedy club? Like, yeah. blink twice if, uh, yeah. Uh, Ron and Kashif for both off sick, which is why they're not on today. They're not dead. I mean, they're dead to me, but they're. Ron doesn't point. say for some any of you. my best friends are black. He says all of my best yeah. friends. <laughs> <laughs> You know, funny thing about Rowan and Goso, like, I'm talking about introductions. You guys were mad intimidating when I first met you guys. Us? Yeah. I don't get that. Now you guys are soft as muffins, dude. Now I'm like, you know what? Feel this rap of the Jaminator, bro. Jaminator? <laughs> the Jaminator. Yo, I have so many niggas. I was also terrified of Rowan and Goso because they always just be like, yeah, he did like hacky stuff and I'll be like oh my god do I do hacky stuff? There we go! There we go! <laughs> they, they would, I, I, I would be like yo I did hack <laughs> but they just don't want to say because <laughs> yeah. they have good overall comedy brains which is something I didn't have when I started out like the analysis of the set I'm like yo bro you picked that up really? like. Wow. But so you just consumed so much comedy. Yeah. Yeah, you like, you both so like ridiculous comedy amount. knowledge. Yeah. But yes. the thing we have said is that the new guys like your class, you Truma, um, so you have stage presence like from the jump. Like you didn't have like we took us year. I'd say I won't speak for else for myself. It took me years to just like be comfortable on stage. I had to like shake and shit, mm-hmm. whisper, like talk under my voice, uh, speak softly and shit. Yeah, Yo. like you guys are just from the get go, like, oh, yeah, I am. What's up? I'm very impressed by you guys. Yeah. No jokes. I'm not saying that because you're here. And I'm not saying that because you guys, uh, some of you, two the season and people running nice gigs. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Like, when I saw, I was like, have these guys been like hiding for the last two years? Like, even when Kevin was doing his one man for Grams, I was like, this guy's one year in and he's. Which is hilarious. I, I'd like to point out. For those people I haven't pointed it out to uh, in person, that I, it's it's ironic, like on purpose, that I did a one man show. It's <laughs> but that wasn't supposed to happen. But okay? you, you said that's for your roadmap. Do one man show in a year. <laughs> Come this special to that's yeah. what you told me. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Netflix, here we go. Yeah, actually, I'm emailing Netflix every day. Oh yeah, to the privilege is to you. <laughs> comedy. The privilege crosses over to comedy. Like. <laughs> That's why I'm moving to Joburg, dude. Yeah. Out, Cape Town, we're out. We are here. After Suller ran us out the city. <laughs> Good. With, uh, with his ranked. Um, with his five. Yeah, with his five that is non existent. We're not gonna go. But well, honestly, well done on that show, dude. Um, yeah. Thanks. I fun. felt so bad when I dropped out of the one, but I was. You were fucking like dying. Yo, bruh. <laughs> but I felt like, is this guy gonna think I'm just making up excuses? Because I'm also, I told you, I'm good at making excuses, bruh. It'd be like that. I'll make it seem like I'm dying, yeah. but I'm actually just watching something <laughs> that just came through. That was interesting, bruh. I'm like, I had that she helps with fire. And I was like, that's also fair. Like, <laughs> if you just don't want to come, that's fine too. <laughs> like, I hope society could get to a point where it's that honest. Like you don't have to worry about it risking your friendship. Bruh! Respect, bruh. 
I think TV is more fun than you. Right now, <laughs> I think TV is more fun than you. You're a great person. Any other time I'd pick you, but like, this show has me. Nothing and you wrong. promise me that you'll be more gripping than Barry season two? <laughs> I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Yeah. So it's it's like, so good. When cool. I agreed to this, I was more like enthusiastic, but now, now I would rather die than come to this thing with you. Like, honestly. Exactly, exactly. I was like, that's nothing to do with you. This is all me. And in my old age, um, 31, I value friends that will be cancelling plans last minute. It's a gift. <laughs> it's more important than any gift yeah. you can give me for my birthday because you acknowledging that, ah, this guy probably said yes to this because we were face to face. He probably doesn't want to do this right now. And I'm like, yes, yeah. that's very good of you to, to see the signs that I don't want to go on a walk. On the promenade, I don't. Sure. I actually don't. Yeah. If you ask someone if they're gonna do something, and they go, uh, yeah. That's what you said. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. I feel like yeah, myself was still accepting it. <laughs> well, accepting that, yes. You know, it's like when you offer someone food at your house, and they're like, no, I'm okay. And they're like, come on, my mother cooked it. Don't do that. Don't make me insult your mother now. <laughs> yeah. I hate when Nick and Dukes do and I'm like, dude, don't. Don't you bring your mother. <laughs> yeah. Your mother's cooking. Yeah. Cause your mother, yo, I actually did, you know, he knows Kenton on Sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stayed at Kenton on Sea. It's like it was white by the town. Yeah. And yeah. Where you have to speak. Oh, where, bro? Uh, where? We're gonna go to Jerry's Lane. Yeah. I'm so traumatized from being a bugger, bro. Twelve okay. years of bugger. Okay. My, my name should be Twelve Years of Bugger. Are we going to Jerry's? Yeah. Oh, smoke that doobie. What what are you saying? <laughs> Jam Jam, why are you doing that? But anyway, where's this town? It's it's like it's between Port Alfred and it's like an hour away from the Yeah, yeah, yeah an hour yeah. hour forty five. Okay. Yeah. And so anyway, back to the story. This this <laughs> happened to be white because like I don't think black people own property there. I don't think they're allowed to <laughs> they're allowed to. But um it's a run by this Yeah it's a run yeah it is it's a <laughs> run with a view. Come to Kenton. Right, that sounds romantic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the perfect retirement village because the black people are like out there and you're like, okay, you're going to come clean my house. Oh, yeah. um, but <laughs> <laughs> then this white bra, his mom was so excited about her cooking and she was doing like a mince curry. That was a red flag already. I was like, <laughs> probably not going to be fired, but like my mom does mince curry and uh, I was like, okay, let me give her the benefit of the doubt. Oh my word, there's still doubt to this day. There's no benefit to the the doubt that I had. It was so bad. And then she's like, yeah, you guys can help yourselves to more. Like if, and then she looked at me like, okay, I'm a heavyweight and I probably did one more. But I was like, if Kenton it didn't have Uber Eats at that time, I was like, hey man, your husband needs to take me to the nearest <laughs> takeaway spot. This was, this sucked. Woof. Don't awesome. ever do a curry again. But can we, can we address the elephant in the room? Callum, we need more of your story, but I feel like we don't chat enough about where you're from, what's your story. I did, you watched my one man show, I told the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't care enough at the time. Because <laughs> I, I thought this bra was from like Joburg or something. I was like, you lived there for a bit? I was I was born in Joburg, but I moved to East London when I was like four. Okay. I I can't. He had that Joburg. like familiar white guy look. Where like, have I seen this guy on ads or something? We basically went to the same school, technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. St Andrews. I went to Selborne, which is also in Eastern Cape. Mm -hmm. It's not private, but it's private adjacent. Mm. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> it's not his his school is properly properly private, yeah. like in. It was way more expensive than my school. I'd imagine. Yeah. I wish I could get a refund. <laughs> they didn't uh, encourage me to do comedy and I could have saved a lot of time and money. Why would they? I, Look at you. No, if you saw they, they encourage you to play rugby. Yeah. Yeah. You it can't really see is. comedy. That's all they encourage you to do. Yeah, that's your dude. It's like the it's like recruiting for the army, dude. Yeah. Yeah, like just throw your life away, like you get some brain damage. Do I just get brain damage? Yeah. Yes, yeah, hella brain damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been concussed three times. It's just so bad. Thanks, I only got concussed once playing rugby. I, I was bad at rugby. 
But yeah. I play cricket. I, uh, I hate cricket. Cricket actually was the first time, like like grade eight, I was like playing cricket, and like still watching cricket on TV. Mm. And then I, it like kind of clicked that I was like, I don't have to watch all the sports. I can. I'm allowed to not like a sport. How do I? When you're fourteen. Oh my god. It's, it's, okay, to, it's okay to not be okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't, don't care about this. I don't like sitting in the sun for eight hours on Saturday. Oh, well, you're watching live. I thought you meant like on TV. Like, no, I mean like I, pl I like played school cricket until, like not very well. I was I was like a solid B team sports player. Okay. Oh, but did you play hockey? No, that's actually like the only sport I've never tried. You should I played play. soccer. I wait. I, 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 I mean, I played for. Cap. I played for Pride of India Football Club ah. in, in East London. This guy, how much how much can you take from cultures? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, right? Yes, you were of well. the Pride. What's the name? What's the name? He was of the, the captain of the Pride. I wasn't captain. Oh my god. Pride yeah. of India, Prides. I was This guy just out was here. Was there an Indian person on the team? There were hella Indian people. Okay. Uh, I was the only white person for Why? quite a long time. They called me Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> because of that, do you remember that advert they used to have where it was like Dr. Kamado and like Shoes Moshoyo playing like a five side game and then keep in like the back streets of Soweto, yeah. And then, and then <laughs> there's a white dude there, yeah. And like, oh. they're like, the white dude's like, hey guys, can I play? And they're like, no, Nkomo, that means cow, it means basketball. <laughs> uh, and then they like throw the ball at him and he like catches it like with one hand or something. And then the kid goes, okay kid, <laughs> you can be my girl. <laughs> and he's doing black shit. <laughs> he's doing black. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I am oh too much. Yeah. But that's, that's, okay, that's how the advert went. Uh, I'm reliving Wednesday now. <laughs> Next then, is Colin accent. We've got it loading, guys. We... I can do, yeah, I can do my dad and the impression. Go for it. Oh wait. I'll stop. That's it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> a good Dalen. I'll give you yeah. that. Oh, I do. I, in the privacy of my own home, I do a good Dalen. I don't know why you. And he, call me. Oh, call yeah. me for Dalen. All of the impressions. Yeah. He's balding, guys. I can shave my good. head in time. Okay. Let me do a reveal. <laughs> Hairline reveal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a thousand subs will do hairline reveals. Oh. There's no shame in this world anymore. This is wearing a wig. <laughs> I might weave it. Have you guys ever seen Floyd Mayweather's dad? He was balding and then he had like dreads on the side. Like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Please Google it. Please Google uh, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather's dad's hairstyle. So we can laugh together. I was like, you and your son make way too much money for this. <laughs> I, I, I will 100% get like hair plugs if I make enough money one day. Nah, dude, I've, I've accepted it. My dad did well in life without hair. Yeah, but you can grow a beard, so... Ah! Yeah, I can't really grow a beard. Yeah, you got that I just, I, if, if I shave my head, I look like a testicle. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Imagine no, dad. just Google um, Floyd Mayweather dad Please, friends. yeah, please just look up. It's but important. He, you need to go to the fire one where he doesn't have a cap, where he's not hiding. He's, it's shocking, man. That's like the the the, the predator or alien. Yeah, it looks like it looks like yeah, it looks like yeah. Like, yeah. One last job. They don't need green screen for him if he yeah. had to be. The, so to be clear, the reason Jam Jam and I are wearing hats indoors at uh, ten o'clock at night. It's because we're hiding our hairlines. Not it's, out of Is that really a bad thing? I've never, I've never got the whole music. I mean, the, I mean, the reason you wear a hat is not for fashion. It's supposed to be to keep the sun out of your eyes. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's to hide your, your, your... So, so if you're indoors or it's nighttime, you're wearing a hat. Especially me, because I, I do a chisco putters all your hair off. So people want to measure your hairline. They want to be like, hey, uh, why do you do a chisco so much? And then they find out because you don't have hair. I started balding at 22. I'm 31 now. It's your nonsense. What well, stress is just bad genetics? I think it's just everything. Uh, I go bad genetics. Bad genetics. I, uh, I, I, my I, hairline started like receding. Like I started getting like the V widow's peak when I was like 
you could see it when I was like 17, mm. like it was starting. And then, yeah, in the last like three or four years, it's started going. It's, it's the, you know, the island is starting to form here now, the Jacques Cullis Island. And that's, <sighs> you know, and I, I, thing. Yeah, it's, and it's like a, there's like a, there's like a bridge here. You can, if, you can see. Yeah, so right. there's, yeah, it's like, it's like way yeah, here. Yeah. 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 I remember me and my friends used to make fun of my dad. We used to call his head U-turn. Because <laughs> it's just round. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then... Um, oh, did he have the, the on the side and the back? Yeah, yeah, I don't know why they kept it for that long and like... It's wild how like acceptable that was. It, it, it's there's so many people, yeah. 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 I think it was Joshua Doe. You got, yeah, so you got an uncle in the furniture business, Joshua Doe. And he was like, I'm rich and I've got this haircut. You can be rich someday too. Yeah. But, yeah. but like now I feel like either you're like, your hairline's receding or you're bald. Like, yeah, you don't get it. You don't yeah, care. You can't. I mean, but you can't do both walls. I feel like there's very few people doing the just crown bald sides flaring. Yeah. Like that's, that's happening. No one's doing the Larry David. You know where I really... Unless you're Larry David. <laughs> Unless you're Larry David. You know where I really realized I was old and wussy and Callum was a witness to this. We're watching the, so, uh, the rugby at his house and his girlfriend's like, you're my brother's age. <laughs> you're fucking old. I'm like, you're... She said that. She did. She actually said you're. that. You're old. She said, wow, you're fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Worst thing is, I'm actually friends, good friends with her brother. So I was like, this just sucks now. <laughs> I'm like, this sucks. Like, this is... And Kellen's like having that awkward look like, ah, that was a good joke. I'm like, shh. <laughs> like, if she's hanging out with her friends and like, let's say she's with her friends and you and Kellen were hanging out. I'm like, who's Kellen's friend over there? Don't, he's, he's old. He's <laughs> <laughs> no, that's disgusting. Yeah. I think that old man is a, tra- oh my God. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't. She sucked my soul that day. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try some young shit, you know? <laughs> Yeah, you listen to that young thug? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jerry Seinfeld just did a, yeah. did a fashion fucking capsule collection yeah. of like Gucci or something. It was like when hey you guys, I'm woke now. now. You're trying to impress the 20 I go by me. I was like, yeah, it's actually not. Uh, oh, Jam Jam, he's here. It's like, ah, not really. <laughs> Them is here. They are here. Please. I'm, I'm woke. I'm a surplus model. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that plus killed me because it's just like, we're gonna go for this thing, like, if something comes like, con- controller, if your controller, like, inanimate objects are gonna become, are gonna have a pronoun, that's what the plus is for. Dude. But think, you know that uh, other languages already do that, like, uh, ob- inanimate objects have genders. Yeah, Spanish, like French Spanish and French, la, 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 all that stuff. Hmm? Yeah, it's le like, and la. Friend is uh, like amigo is a man, amiga is a woman, but you get like I mean like cup yeah. is like cupa and cupo like I mean that might be wrong I don't know they they been more but Spain stop it they been more do there's no there's no pronouns in Tosa no. come on it's Tosa you think there's no it's every everyone's there there there's no word for woman the word for woman in Tosa is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my toss used to be bad, Jens. <laughs> are you oh, are you? Huh? This one, right? No. Oh, oh, come on, dude. It's from the Eastern Cape. My bad. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Actually, since we're on the podcast and on that topic, yeah. well, so where were we before Gramstown? What's the city before Gramstown? Fuck, they can't do it, eh? Let's, yeah. It's your Abeja. Before Gramstown. Port Elizabeth? Formerly known as the artist, formerly known as Port Elizabeth. Yeah. Downtown. No, Port Elizabeth. We need you to say the new name for Port Elizabeth. Oh my oh, god! Fucking commit at least. You can't. My, my. Let's remember. I was smoking. My back. <laughs> my back. My back. Hey, can I'm get, do you guys know? <laughs> that guy gets embarrassed on his own party. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Quick beat. <laughs> Why that? Yeah, I think that's even better than me. <laughs> Burger. 
I saw uh, I saw a video the other day on TikTok of a white dude going. Um, he went. Tra tre tri to tu. Tra tre tri to tu. Tra tre tri to tu. And I was like, that's me on stage when I need to win the crowd. Oh my god! It's such a magic trick as well because it's like. Black audience and some black people here. Ah, yeah, I'm that. Like, <laughs> and then he was just like, Woo! You said it! I want to ask that. So, like, in the black community, like, you have a model C accent. Yeah. You're like a cool and Uncle Tom because you talk white. As a white person looking, like, speak closer to other white people, see as, like, look at him trying to dance with black people. I think so, probably. Yeah. You think, like, because yeah. I imagine they oh. like, black people see as, like, hey, Oh, wow! I, mean, I was yeah, bullied because of it, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, right I think so. Yeah, right from the line. You can't go to, like, Mark or Eastern Cape and be like, oh, where are you guys keen to, like, watch the footy here? They're like, what? And, and this, like, the childhood thing always is that my dad speaks to me only in English. I'm like, where did you learn so much <laughs> English? Because I'm sure it wasn't allowed in your time, and now you're just, like, at the source. Like, yeah, it's and sanitized. then my, my mom used to be like, Driving in the car, she'd be like, Yeah, you know, uh, Afrikaans people at home, they don't speak Afrikaans. Why are you guys always speaking English? And I was just like, Yeah, she's got a point. Yeah. But also, you know, St. Andrews. Shout out! Um, colonization sure. isn't dead, son. Make sure you're talking Colonization is still alive, baby. Oh, am I not? I don't know. It just looked a little far from here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to fill in the as best as I can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You see this passive aggressive shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know just tell me, hey, your mic technique was That was great, great, man. Just, I think the mic technique. Well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Great set. Oh, you did all, well, but you, you're not facing the crowd and uh, oh. that was, that was, I just think, like, I didn't face them at all. I no wonder it went badly. I'm going to talk about Ngosa uh, at Armchair on Wednesday. Just being like, hey, Adrian. Like, Alfred Adrian, great set, you did so amazing. <laughs> you never said that to us. No, no, no. Dude, I've been guys. waiting for an Ngosa approval since <laughs> I tell 2019. I tell you, set all the time. All the time. The, but then that means it's water to Exactly. You say that. It's better than what I mean. Yeah, no, this guy's playing mind games. No, no, I'm happened to Alfred Adrian. I was, I was sleeping and I was resting by the stairs. Yeah. And then... Uh, I think Natty brought like some new person on. Then I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> then Alfred Adrian was standing right and he thought I was like yelling at him. <laughs> then he came down. Oh, and no, no, so like, you're yeah. doing damage control. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. so, it. Exactly. <laughs> guys, that's big. That guy's one man show. He's a cooker, yeah. He, he's yeah. so Even good. Even like the set he did at Lonjo was dope. I wanted to walk up because I was like, yeah. He doesn't he doesn't let you breathe like in the in this like yeah. one, one line away. Like he just like it's just punchline, punch punchline, yeah. and you like you literally. And he's able to walk in such a short space, and like walk, act something up, walk, act something up, and like not use the crowd by like, oh, I'm, but I yeah. mean, he'll, if, he'll touch on like it'll be like a like a clever punchline, and then he'll like do like something like semi physical after that, and then yeah. it's like like pure stage presence following that, and then uh, like then he'll drop like another punchline, like you're so good. But, <laughs> oh, did an only fun live? Yo, How was that? So was it? No, scary good. Yo, I only saw the armchair. I didn't see the laughing stock thing. Yo, uh, and what's that? Was like an hour, right? Nah, thirty. Not thirty. I felt like an hour. But yeah. In a good way. Yeah, we do. We were like, don't, don't, we were like, don't yeah. stop, dude. I was like, how long is this guy gonna be? Do don't you stop till you get enough around. I was yeah. like, bring Mel back on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take a break. I, I felt, I felt for him. I was like, take your foot in the Yeah, take, yeah. Just, I can't breathe. Make yeah. comedy seem attainable for us, man. Don't, don't. But yeah, he works hard at his stuff, yeah. and you can There's see a, it. Yeah, a bunch of job guys are coming here in two weeks, like towards the end of the month. Oh, uh, twenty nine. Yeah, yeah Rob and Robin. Robbie Collins. Uh, yeah, Yo, Robbie Collins is fired. Dude. I'm so excited. Robbie Collins liked my reel the other day. So, yeah. Man, yeah. No, I, I was uh, going to uh, You could not no, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me! When, when a famous comic <laughs> says something good about 
<laughs> anything. They can be like, yeah, your graphic design for your pictures are nice. You'll be like, yo, Robbie Collins, this is what pictures are before. <laughs> yeah, boy, what pictures do you have, bossa? Kellen, what you working with? What okay. mega pixels dog? What you know about this? Yeah. <laughs> what you know about Canva, son? Yeah. <laughs> what you know about Canva? Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 They were often fearing said that to me at Oddsfest. He was like, I saw your poster. Nice poster. I was like, thank you so much. Yeah. I don't know about this. Robin. 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 But that's, that's, I feel like you realize that's the thing. Like, we should, we're so like, I don't know. I do this thing where like when a comic says something where like when they're impressed by a comic that I'm not like, Seeking their approval, or mm-hmm. it's like really, that's that's what, yeah, that's nothing, yeah, okay, that's what, yeah, yeah. yeah. If I'm not like, yeah, but then when it's when I experience, then I have that, you know, you get retrospective, and like, oh, that's what he was going through, mm-hmm. like when you get it from your ear, but then also, like, it shouldn't mean that much, <laughs> it shouldn't, it but shouldn't, it does. but it, it can carry you for weeks that high up. I think it's good, I've, I've been like gassed up before just because I knew, um, Emilio Tobias. Yeah. Um, like he moved to PE and we he like he like immediately started running a gig. Came friends. Yeah. And boys. Well, that was cool too. And then he was like, I was talking to Robbie Collins about that reel of yours. What room is that that you were in? Because Robbie thinks he's played there before. And I was like, You yeah, Robbie Collins have you? <laughs> That's what you hear. <laughs> they saw they know. He he can get my number if he wants to find yeah, out. The, if he's really yeah. passionate about it. Yeah, tell him he really wants to find out. Yeah. yeah, I will tell him where that room is if he books me for a room in Joburg. Yeah, you know, I don't like this middle man. Just give me his number. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this. You pass the message. Yeah. Come on, let's be adults. Oh wow, I had a funny moment with Emilio in Makanda. He dropped like his joke book, and I've only ever seen like what's a god his joke book. Like I don't know what what's has got like million dollar jokes in there, and then like. <laughs> We were about to go to the Rats and Pat. Uh, no, no, we were about to go to Friars, which was probably going to be a fail. Yeah. But then, like, he left his book on the table at Rat, and he's like, and it, like the bouncer was like, yeah, guys, it's like oh, 12 o'clock. I don't know why they closed so early. <clears throat> then he was like, bruh, you know, how, you know how much those jokes are worth on that table? No, nah, bro, you're going to let me back in there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then you find, he was like, bro, you know how much these jokes are worth? I was like, yeah, that's... How many hours? Yeah, he's like, dude, for me to... And that's the thing, do you guys back up any of your material, literally? So I, I started, um, like, when I first started writing jokes, it was in a Google Doc. Like, and yeah. for long, I, I was, like, quite uh, proud of the fact that, like, all my jokes were backed up on Google Drive. Mm. And, like, but, like, recently I've started, like, just before a show, like, sitting down with a notebook. I, re- I actually remember seeing you and Kuma at um, Artfest and being like, fuck, if I lose this joke book, I'm fucked. And I was like, don't do that. Like, yeah. just uh, just back it up. But like, since then, I've been like sitting down and like writing out a set before a show, like with pen. And now I'm like losing the papers and shit. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. fuck, yeah, yeah. Like, what do I do? Like, yeah. It becomes old stuff and you yeah, just yeah. naturally forget old stuff. I mean, even tonight when I like almost changed my set, I was like, I don't really have like, Set. These collected, like, uh, yeah, like, like interlinking ideas, like, I, I've, and I've seen like you and Rome, and I think Tuma do it as well, like, um, where you'll go, okay, I'm gonna do like Zodiac and this and this and this. Whereas, I, like, I don't do that, like, I write five, like, well, ish, yeah, we all think it's five, um, and like, those, there's like. Um, I always try and like write a link between them. Yeah. Um, Same way. So like, if something changes or like I arrive at a show, for example, and find out that it's a clean yeah. show, I'm basically like fucked. Yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Damn, that's unfortunate. Yeah, and then like that's my five for like. But I think it's a good challenge, dude. Yeah. To be able to make you, I don't swear that much on stage. I realize. And I'm sorry like I'm trying to incorporate it just to be like edgy and cool. But I realize Shit. I don't. I huh? am. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean if you are, if you want to be cool, Jam Jam, drop on that bomb now and again. Swearing is cool. Yeah. Fish and fucking chips. That's yeah. <laughs> but in my regular life I fucking swear a lot, bro. I'm like I'm like, no, that guy's fucking full of shit. Like when I roast my younger brother, I'm like, no, fucking bullshit, dude. 
I told you that I wanted an ostrich for the like stupid stuff. You should be. Yeah. You shouldn't get that passionate yeah. about ostrich food. You know I what I mean? I joke about them, but maybe. Yeah, it's just like, it's <laughs> my life, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and my brother, and I see the confusion. My brother is like, this guy really that angry about ostrich food? Like, no, it's still a fillet. Just eat, dude. Like, he, it's not like you're the best way to watch it anyway. Like, you know what I mean? He's, he has that face like, we're really gonna, tomato, yeah. tomatoes. Dude. Yeah, what's your palate like? Would you describe your palate as? Confused. Really? You could, but do you really appreciate good food? Like, hey, like, man, I have to, like, yeah. save this. Cause I'm I'm, doing my, my palate is MSG non-conforming. I really but like the agenda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like, like, I, I really enjoy, like, good food, mm. but I can, I can just, like, eat to survive. Yeah. Like, if, yeah. I, need oh. to, if I need to just eat, like, Rice and chicken, because yeah. like that's all I. I've never seen my broke boy meals on Instagram, yo. <laughs> Where you try to reinvent noodles and and uh, tuna. <laughs> that like, and I look at myself like, you don't get paid badly enough to do this. No, I don't. But know. you have fancy ostrich fillets, and you get you cry over them. No, it's not look at you. It's good to like go to that depth. I don't Just know about you guys. Yeah, I don't. I don't cook anymore. Yeah. Yeah. King! Yeah. 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 But like, I was winning. I, I, I like cooking. But like, every. Ah, yeah, don't, 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 don't do that. She's like, no, <laughs> the woman's mind is over. It's yeah. the truth. <laughs> she doesn't pretend. She doesn't stay in the kitchen. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Warm meal, dude. If that chicken is warm, ooh, it's, she doesn't it's like on the stove right now. <laughs> I ate before I get to I, I want to go back to Wembley Square right now because we live in the same building. I want to be like, shake your leg, woman! <laughs> Two plates. <laughs> Two <laughs> I don't eat that. It's haram. <laughs> you heard it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> no. Preheat oh. the oven, please. No, so I'm like barely allowed in the kitchen. I like, I'll, she'll be like, you can cut up an onion. I'll, I'll allow it. Uh, I think, like, I have cooked for her before, and she'd be like, oh, this isn't terrible. terrible. Wow, I thought that, I, I'll be honest, I had low expectations. You should cook more often. And then she just doesn't let me. And then you don't and, cook. And now it's bad, because, like, now I'm, I'm honestly, like, fucking incompetent. Like, the other day she was like, can you just turn the stove on quickly? And I was like, yo, the uh, uh, No, just a normal electric stove, but I was, like, befuddled. I was the worst like, is not cooking before low chair. Oh, that is a nightmare. Now you're just hungry, not watching anything, Wi Fi is off, and you're like. Yeah, being unprepared for load shedding is fucking a nightmare. Yeah, dude, it's a, it's a nightmare. We have load shedding at midnight tonight, by the way, you and I. Me too. <laughs> but yeah. An interesting topic, though, that we touched on. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take it, I don't care. You guys, I'm here for a week, so I'm here all week long, literally. <laughs> The white people overcompensate. That thing is funny as when you're like, uh, I hate white people and you're white. It's like, we don't need that. We don't need that. Me and Gosa can say, look you right in the eye, now. don't do that. Stop it. Be woke. I don't mind you being woke, but don't do that thing. I hate white people. I hate white people because it's like, I'm pretty sure when the, when the people serve you better than us, you don't hate it. Like, are you like, so we will some oppression? Ah! No. White people want to be oppressed so yes. bad. Oh, oh that joke yeah. gets me. I love it, dude. <laughs> I, I didn't know, like I would appreciate more of you. There's that there's that experiment, that lady who took like these pills that actually like darkened it. She like a pigment changed. Oh uh, well yeah. Like, well, that, I would have reverse cunning exactly. back. Yes. The reverse cunning. Yeah. Like I'd appreciate that more than you just saying, I hate the white people. Because that does nothing for anyone. Who does that serve? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Like that. And like, you're just gonna, it's just gonna be long post loading. I'm like, ah. I, I know what you guys are talking about, but there is like a type of white person that I hate. Like, that I like almost feel like. You see, you got white people and you got wiggers. Yeah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> what you, oh. white people, white people are trying to. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, but then, I mean, you, you know the type. And like you said, 
like you guys said, I, it's not for me to say, but <laughs> you'd prefer if someone was just it. outright racist, because yeah. that's like... Quick, quick like, to a point, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. It I like black people, like, like, oh wait, let's, let's, let's go have a drink. drink, like, you know, let's yeah. hang out. Yeah. But like, why people who like think that they're not the problem? Oh. Like, oh I'll tell but are. Oh. I'll say, oh. I'll say, oh, no, I don't know should see this. I used to have my sister's friend once, and uh, the one, well, like, you know, race, oh, she's white. So I'm yeah. talking about race stuff, and she said, no, I won't raise it right. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, apartheid isn't the reason that black people are suffering in South Africa. <laughs> Wow, She's exactly like, that. Yeah, yeah, She's exactly. Like, She's like, I'm not because of like illegal immigrants and like people taking jobs and like the competition is unfair because they work for cheaper and I'm like. <laughs> she, she said that to you and your sister. <laughs> and she was white. Right. She was like, we were staying at her place, so I feel like she had that. Okay, the leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's like, what she doesn't realize, realize right? I did definitely say that. That's, you have to agree that. All due respect, that's a crazy thing to say. That's wild. No. The thing is, that is the, the that's the meat of it right there. She thinks she can say whatever she, she wants. Thinks she knows. Yeah. That's that's the true price of privilege. She can say that and have you people like you people uh, and have you guys like singing like. Did she just say that? And she will have that look like. I don't look like I just said it, but you know I said it. That like, she said, and, and like what's the same? You stay here, yeah, you stay at my house, so I'm gonna say it again. I'm probably gonna. I'm oh, you didn't hear me. Oh yeah, we know each other. I'm gonna be real with you now. It's pretty awkward uh, uh, when you're white. Yeah. People think that they can be racist around you. Same with black. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, feel like, I feel like everyone has a yeah. Cause it's not just I think just discriminatory, like I guess so, yeah. Oh, like, so big, transphobic. Yeah, big, I'm big. sure that happens a lot with white people where they're like, ooh, and then you're like, nah, I'm not really gonna talk about that. And then they're like, okay, shit, it's all good now. Callum's Callum being woke. <laughs> We're Callum, these fucking wokies. Callum, yeah, Callum is drinking too much coffee. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't <laughs> blink eyes. He is woke. It it often happens. Well, it hasn't happened recently, but like. Uber drivers, I feel like at one point in my life, often would be like, ah, a fellow racist. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me take and that. They just start complaining and using slurs, and I'm just like, I'm not your guy, man. I'm, yeah. like, I'm not. Wait, I'm where's, not. Our, where's our country guy? <laughs> you know, where's our, we're not going to have a country to complain. I'm telling you, Kevin. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, brother. We're not going to have a country. Yeah, have you seen? How much corruption? Oh my yeah. goodness! I've seen that video that circulates on Twitter. Oh. Of that guy in his car, where he's like, black people are a problem, bro. Oh yes, I've seen it. It's ah. <laughs> you know who said that to me? My black friend said that to me. And the guy is, he, he's shocked that the black person he's telling us to doesn't agree with him. Because he's like, black people are a problem, bro. Come on. He, he, and my friend is, yeah. <laughs> he's like, come <laughs> tell me when you're not. Tell me when I'm like, lying. Tell me I'm lying. No, no the, way, lie. the way he's pleading, like, oh, come on. Like, dude, just, he's, he's almost like, just think about a time when a black person's let you down. How did you feel? You got me. Dude, guys, I'm going to share this on my page. Limited time only. I don't want guys to. Yeah, <laughs> some guy Jack Jack like, gets it. You know what I did the one time? So, But, but yeah, look at that video. Because the way he's like, he's like, black people. He's like, Black people are proper, but come on! Like, he's like, let's he's like, he's, like, he's like speaking with his, you know when someone's like, Italian? Yeah. He's yeah. like, don't, don't act for this video. Be honest with yourself. <laughs> are black people a problem, yes or no? What was I gonna say? Fuck, it's so bad. Um, uh. Oh, when I was still like wokeish, I don't care enough now. Sorry, woke guys. Um, I used to do this like clickbait stuff where I used to. Act like I'm being an Uncle Tom just to expose some of my white friends. I was like, ah, but you, you actually think like this. Like, yeah. one of my and I'll be like, okay, Matt likes us. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Steven likes us. I'm like, oh, we're getting some. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the thing that annoys me. That's why I hate white people, is that they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Experience. Okay. Like, uh, but but they'll be like, like uh, look, uh, even a right wing black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, who's that guy running against Trump? Ben Carson. Yeah. And I'd be like, look what Ben Carson says. And I'd be like, that, he's one person and he's fucking dumb. He's like, not speaking for like, like, Yeah. He's, there's, and there's not usually the person. people speaking for us like suck. Like, <laughs> they don't like. Yeah. People who should speak for us don't have the platform to speak for us. There we go. But sometimes you also like, yo, just people who are very aggressive with like their stuff. Like, I mean, anyone who, be- anyone who believes in anything so much honestly it, it, it's too it's too tiring i can't i honestly can't give myself over to that many causes like hey just go on your facebook or instagram just go a couple of years you'll see so many like woke things or people trying to be super extra woke where you're like guys do you even really care about this stuff like I, I'd rather really care, like, if you're going to share, like, a black thing for, like, yeah. Black Tuesday or whatever that was back in the day. Did you guys do that? I don't think I did. Yeah, I know this guy, the Paris flag. Oh, uh, uh, Paris flag, like, absolutely fucking not. Oh. I did, I did have, I did have. Also, fuck Charlie Hebdo, is that what you're saying? Oh. I mean, Charlie, Charlie Hebdo got oh, no. what he deserved. Oh, fuck, he got. Oh, yeah. The funny thing oh, is, is just dancing for the muzzy. Just sweet ice. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> just you know the funniest thing about that was like, those guys have depicted some crazy stuff. The genocide in Rwanda, a, 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 a drawing of the prophet, which is peace be upon, which is like you hear now. Even when I say the prophet, man. I'm like peace be upon. I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want that smoke. Right. And yeah, you're yeah. taking it there. It's like. To depict the prophet and also the like oh prophet. freedom of speech people never forget that there is responsibility to that it's okay you are free to say that yeah, they yeah. Are, oh no you must. i'm not saying don't have freedom of speech but i understand you are speaking to guys who are going to be like everything you just said that we're going to get you for that yeah. fuck we are dealing with real issues this is no longer a comedy podcast yeah <laughs> the current affairs yeah. <laughs> I told you the whole. I couldn't have intellectuals t- in conversations with those. Holding moms. you back. <laughs> we have taken. This is what's stimulating. This is, yeah. That I hope, said, I I hope this isn't like the lowest lights you're gonna get. And like. Man, <laughs> you just woke up. Shut the hell up. We want. We get that want one shit out of here. We have a video with twelve views, dude. Come on. Come on, dog. That was all me. I, no, that, that was like all twelve of those. Some of the audio ones. Some of the audio. Oh yeah, that's gonna have twelve views on. Yeah. We don't wanna listen that long. Mad numbers, though. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have you guys considered doing segments? I feel like you should do like a this week at armchair and then cut away to like Rowan in a suit. I like your guys' little ads though. Those are fun. Oh wow, the 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 iPhone Malcolm X. That that's one of my favorite. Like <laughs> the way he storms it. <laughs> I need a cure, right? And what's his character? I, I, the way Kuba reacts is like, when, when he sees the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. They dress up with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. me, bro. That's it. That's me. Yeah, when, when he points to the phone, he's like, that's me, bro. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah, that was great. That was fun. Shout out. We yeah. should shoot more sketches. We should shoot more. I've been trying. Like so hard to think of just any sketch ideas, and I just can't. Two like sketches. I can. Def- I guess so. The first one. We haven't written them fully yet. Don't steal these ideas. They can't. They're morons. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't write like these guys write. So the first one is. I'm gonna workshop it. First one is. Workshop it. It's two kickboxers. It's a white guy versus a black guy. Kickboxing, professional kickboxing. Then the white guy kicks the black dude like in his lower like lower thigh, and then like ooh, the ref stops the thing low blow low blow, <laughs> and then the commentator there's a white commentator and a black commentator so the black guy's like that's clearly a low blow and the white guy's like what that's, it's nowhere near as growing it's, it's, it's <laughs> that's that reminds me of a joke uh, that the guy who told oh me delayed about, response ah, I feel so bad now I feel like a rookie. It's a low blow. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> the, the funnier one is date night. No, no, I, I get it. I just, I, I, it was like, uh, uh, what's Pius' joke about Jacob's woman's piece? You must. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Pius. Love what you're doing on the comedy scene, by the way. Shout out, women. The other one is date night and a quiz night. 
But the quiz, the quiz questions are about conspiracy theories. And your date doesn't know that you're into QAnon. <laughs> Black Rock. Yeah. yeah. Shout out, Ryan. Uh, Shout out. Conspiracy uh, Yeah. Yeah, that's how long. Before, before Princess Diana married uh, uh, Prince Charles, King Charles now. Uh, Get it right. King, yeah, right. King Charles wanted to make sure she was like pure. So he went to her and he pulled out his dick. Anyway, Diana, do you know what this is? And she went, no, no idea. Um, <laughs> I know. He was like, oh, okay, dope. Um, she's, you know, she's still pure. Uh, then, like, a little bit of time passes, things are getting more serious. He wants to make sure that she's still pure. He checks again. Uh, he takes out his dick and he says, Di, do you know what this is? Uh, and she says, no, no idea, Charles. And then on their wedding night, he's like, he, he pulls out again. He's like, Di, do you know what this is? Um, no, no idea, Charles. He goes, it's a penis. And she goes, no, a penis is about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Woo. That's an armchair zinger that you must yeah. try out. That's oh, an armchair. I would go with, um, what's his face? Lucy destroyed that armchair. Did he? Him and I not destroy it, but him and Joel had good sense. Yeah, they yeah. Had the two men. It was fun. They did like a two. Had you left by that stage? Yeah. They, um, I've got responsibilities. That's fair. No, I think called them both up. Um, and they did like a, a joke battle thing. I'm like super keen to do like more like formats of comedy. Oh, the roast battle thing, yeah. Yeah, sure. roast battle is going to be cool. Do an act. What's your language, what's that? Uh, Bemba. Bemba roast. The roast of Bemba. I don't oh, know. No. Black accent. Those uh, those Zambian. I was at the beer house and those Zambian audience. Mm. Nice. And like we did that. Oh, and I tried like speaking my native tongue with him. And he was just like, just stop, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I respect that though. He was like, you don't need to do this. He was like, yeah. No, it was like it's bad. It's like you can't speak it anymore. Yeah. Uli <laughs> I was just like, man. I yeah. am a failure to my people. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Aren't you was cool this week though? I feel like it was packed. Yeah. The crowd was yeah. live. I mean, I ate shit, but it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I shouted, oh man, at some point, I shouted. But didn't you start by going like, hey. <laughs> I said, I was not let you do shut the fuck. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I said, hey, shut the fuck up, dude, to the right. Um, and then he went, hey, you. Then I said, "Yeah, shut up, you gay nigga." Yeah. <laughs> then everyone put back, and I was like, "He's a gay nigga." I started seeing people doing this stuff, and I'm like, "Where you guys going to?" <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm like, "That is a gay nigga if I've ever seen one." Yeah. And he wasn't offended by well, it. Well, he at the end of the night, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, he I don't was, think he was offended. No. I think yeah. that's something people for pe future people coming to shows. Stop feeling offended for others as well. They, they Let the material like, run out so then you can be like, ah, that's not even a joke, that's not even funny. Yeah. That is that is cruel, like you're being a dickhead. But don't just automatically feel offended for others, but like... Someone in Gramtown felt bad that like a comic made a fat joke about me. I'm like, <laughs> really? You're feeling bad for me? This is actually worse. On my behalf. What did, yeah, exactly. Don't feel bad for my behalf. Like, I hate white people. Go yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, the funniest sketch would be if white people started saying that, but every time they say it, they actually like, just kill themselves. <laughs> I hate white people. I hate white people. Yeah. Show us now. <laughs> live dem like live demonstration people. of how much you hate white people. Do you hate white people? Have you considered suicide? <laughs> Start with yourself today for $10.99. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. You, you know what, what, one thing about comedy that's funny, um, or about audiences, just talking about audiences now. My friend, um, I won't say wife, because then he might think I'm having a god his wife, but like, I don't care actually. I'm on, the, I'm on food. It's happening. I'm fresh out of Fox, guys, sorry. But 40 people might see this. Yeah. She. My it was like, w when we still used to gig together, or not that we don't anymore, but like, she used to say, 
Oh, but he told that joke at uh, at Nomad. Writing's hard, bitch. Oh, yeah. You, this, these are the people that can't even say, like, they're wedding vows properly. And now they 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 criticizing. you saying that again? Yeah, it's like... Write new material, bitch. And that was on Wednesday. It's Friday today. As an <laughs> open mind. Do, what do you... Like, do you I, maybe leave some comments to, like, the, the ten people that might watch this. What do you really think we do when we write? Yeah. Or, or like when we're trying out material, like... And let's tell you about that, there's this guy, uh, Trent Alonchair, in the back. Mm. He's like a fan of comedy. He's like, oh. Then he came to the back and he saw like a bunch of us were writing. And then, you know how black people react to magic? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. reaction to... Wait, you guys, what? You prepare? I thought yeah. you guys just, just like... Yeah, just do a thing. I've heard that often, no like way. a lot of people no think way. like you just... You just ad living yeah. and like that's I actually listened to uh, a podcast with um, Jerry Seinfeld today um, and someone asked him like when did you realize like what what made you realize that you can't just like go up there uh, and ad lib and that you have to write and, and he was like performing like <laughs> going up on stage and then like shitting the bed yeah, yeah. 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 I've seen um, guys I, I won't name names but I've seen that but when Personality is when personality can carry your set. Too. Yeah. When that, when, like, uh, it's like, ah, oh, they came here for a show, buddy. Yeah, yeah, it they is came like. Here for a show. It's like, like, what did you think when you left your apartment or your your, your humble abode? Yeah. Did you think these nines were just gonna be like, ah, he's dressed well, or ah, he's a bit edgy and cool? It's gonna it's gonna buy us time. It's like, no, it's not gonna buy you any time because you are killing our ears right now. So so often like especially like new people you see them like telling a story um that's like you can you can see like their friends go tell them the story and like that's obviously fucking hilarious when you're chilling with your friends but like it's not stand-up comedy like there's not a setup and a punchline i, I like, think you never write jokes like, all new comics please just listen up to this point just so you can hear what Kellen say it was funny at the time. Those guys are not comedians. Context. Those, oh my. There's so many nuances to that story that we don't care to know about. And you find it, ah. Even when I retell some of my sets and like, so I, to, I told Mark, <laughs> Mark Reese, my money joke. And you can see he was like, ah, I'm not that funny. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. and I, 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 but, <laughs> I get, is there a sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I was going to say, that's why one of the reasons I've actually, like, I'm not avoiding telling comics ideas because they can discourage you. Cause yeah. Because they can be like, cause just like, you're doing, like ah, I'm not feeling But then you try it on stage and it works, so it's like... Exactly. I told you a sketch idea last night and you were like, eh. I like it. I do. And I was like, actually. I was like, maybe not. Maybe... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, I was, it was, this is 10 p.m. I'm frustrated. I'm drunk. Ah, <laughs> Jen yeah. spent the whole evening going, you guys are getting bumped. <laughs> I've, I've been bumped many times in the I love it. Because I, it, I, it humbles you so nicely. It's like, how did you ever think Stuart Taylor, KG, or whatever, don't, oh, you better than them? Like, it's like, dude. There was a little part of me that was like, that'd be cool. Like, if I got, like, Alfred Adrian just no. dropped in and, like, I got bumped, like that would be such a cool story. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it would be like, okay, it's yeah, guys, I was an option. It's, it's, it's not those bump. two guys who were just trying comedy. It's, it's outrageous. You yeah. say, like, I don't want to wait too long here. Let me go on stage. And you're like, yep, that's why you. That's fair. That's fair. That's why you sell out to 2,000 people yeah. in Mitchell's Plain and the Lyric Theatre. Yeah. And yeah. Like, like London and shit. Yeah. 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 With ease as well. But that guy works, but you see him in Makanda. Yeah, he's sure so a dude. And he, I, I've heard people say like he, like he stops and like takes photos with everyone yeah. and like chats with everyone. But after his show, I couldn't even say cheers to him because mm -hmm. people line up oh, yeah. to have a photo with him and his uh, wife. And I was like, they even took photos with the parents, bro. I was like, I was like, this, this is, this is such a nice experience, bro. Like when you go to the show, you get your money's worth. Do you, this is an aside, um, but Emily always laughs at me when I refer 
to someone as a killer. She thinks she thinks it's the lamest thing in the world. Really? Yeah. Uh, and I was uh, like, no, it's not. It's a cool <laughs> thing that comedians do. Yeah. yeah. He's a killer. He murdered him tonight. <laughs> but like, oh. it, it's it's fully like golf it's, job. Yeah. Man. Like, when you, when you, when you, uh, yeah. Uh, Tom Hanks. Like, yeah. like, like nerds being like, oh, this is our cool thing. Yeah. yeah. It's so fucking good in our little kingdom. Destroy. Like, I've, I've heard how I I've, 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 I've heard how I say destroy. Like, you. Kind of destroy oh, that now, like obliterated. Yeah. <laughs> like, and you but like, did he just make people laugh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? Are yeah. uh, people's lives really? Are they going to remember Calvin? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That, that, like, which, I, no. Shout out to Emily for for bringing us down to <laughs> holding up the mirror. Yeah, because yeah. she's like, <laughs> okay. Then what does that kill me? They kill. At beer house on Long Street. <laughs> yeah, I think what's that? What? what, what that, you, right? that okay, Kevin, what do you want me to do? Like, cook you biryani now because you killed that? It's like, dude, just eat the fucking muffin <laughs> after pizza that I had. <laughs> and also, when you open, I, I have realized at work, especially. I like you guys at work, by the way. Um, <laughs> see you guys on the twenty fifth. Um, <laughs> that's why I do my best work. Um, when like. You, you, you've killed in front of like a headline ad yeah. and they come up to you and I said that you're about to like wet your pants come into the office like yo brah KG said I had a fire <laughs> set and they're like okay but money don't come <laughs> no locations are waiting for you I don't know if you're gonna kill them you might have killed your set but you're not gonna kill it's those like that meme where the guy's standing in the corner with like a drink and it's like they, no, don't, really? they don't know that I killed opening for KG <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Yo, oh, shut up, you said it four times. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Even amongst comics, it gets old. It's like, like, are you gonna hold on to that kill for how long? <laughs> like, you done right now as well. And that's like, oh, okay, you said you killed, okay. Huh? Ten weeks oh. ago, I murdered. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm okay. still, I, the, <laughs> the week that you got booed off. Uh, <laughs> it was like, Ooh. I tried. It was like, that's. I feel like the best I've ever done. I was like, <laughs> oh, after, I mean, afterwards, I was like on a high, and I, I'm very much still then riding the, the high. Then, <laughs> <laughs> then you know, it was both <laughs> him and you must have doing shout out to Uganda. Because oh, <laughs> I had to shout to Uganda, but like on some fuck women shit. Yeah. <laughs> then the, shout out to Uganda. It was so yeah. fun. But you, you know, even now, Bosa, yeah. it, may, it might not agree with me because maybe you don't give a fuck. But even when the newer comics can see that they're dying, they go to other stuff quicker. I used to die on my shield, which is stupid. Don't do that. Like guys go through like, oh, okay, this is not working. Oh, but nice. this is not working. I never used to do that. I used to be like, you guys have to find this funny. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't have <laughs> any. <laughs> yeah. This is I'm you gonna go with me. You also pay what you get for it right here. I I I I love when comics do the. They die at a free show, and they're like, you know what? I'm actually not gonna go into my vault of top jokes. You guys, yes, you guys deserve, deserve exactly what you, you, you pay for. Yeah, but I, I like moving on. I, I like. I feel like it really helps me there as well. Like holding up the mirror, she says to me, mm, "Yeah, it feels awkward when like when comics are like, fuck you, shut up. This is my show." It's like, sir. <laughs> This person came out to eat some pizza tonight. Yeah, they they uh, and you're, they you're like, what's his abuse? You're like verbally assaulting. It's them. like, dude, can I just have my margarita in peace? Why is this They're guy? Talking. They can, <laughs> no, but that's the thing. I'm not holding. They can leave the room. I'm not holding them hostage. <laughs> Why are they talking? What's that? No, it's true. There's someone speaking into a microphone and they're talking. You can't even do it. There's something I, going on. I told someone to shut yeah. the fuck up once, and then I pussied out immediately afterwards. I went, yeah. I went, hey, shut the fuck up. Or don't, whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, so I wouldn't do it on the first thing. It's a thing I'm like, I'm watching. I'm like, I want like. I did it at two of Caesar's gig at Blue Chip. Oh, is it Blue Chip? No, no. It's I like Claremont on somewhere. And I, 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 I'm not a comedic tool as well. Like, no, I told the guy to get on stage, but I saw, I saw, uh, <laughs> stolen. I still I saw Tiffany Haddish talk about it talk about <laughs> uh, dying laughing. But, yeah, no, no, dying laughing. Where? Shout, shout out Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, shout out Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, uh, Tiffany Haddish. For legal um, reasons. Don't. This this isn't unrelated to what Nguyen just said, but anyway, <clears throat> hope you 
have good legal representation. Anyway, um, it's okay. This podcast needs to be called Cape Town. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For better people. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. So anyway, so she's like, she someone was heckling, and then she was like, get uh, get on the stage and do your five. Then she was just started heckling him. She was like, heard that, but like, boo, like started doing, and then he was like. Yo man, I don't know why she did gangster voice, but Yo man, that was fucked up what you did, hon Like I was missing, I was like, oh, you don't like this being done to you I did it to some like Congolese guy, which was actually risky Because he could have just fucked me up or fucked my chick uh, <laughs> Either way, yeah, he could have double, double fucked me uh, But he didn't, he just died badly And I sort of killed the gig but I told people I had fun. That's not fun for the other comics. <laughs> I love when people die hard and they take a show away from the people who actually paid good money to well, do that. I mean, that, they're that's like, yeah, I had that's, fun. You're like, ooh. That's ooh, the premise that we like should be shouting at people on. Yeah. Like, hey, these people are trying to have a good time and you're fucking it up for them. Yeah. But actually, we're going, hey, you're fucking my setup. Yeah. <laughs> Narcissism. I'm fucking actually so narcissistic. I'm like, so good at comedy and you're putting me off. Yeah, oh, exactly. That's true. That's actually a good reflection of comedy. 90% of what the heckling is about. It's like, I couldn't, like, I want the rest of the 20 people that you just interrupted, I want them to still think I'm funny. You messing it up now. They think I don't have control as well. That's another thing. You saying to them, don't take this guy seriously, yeah. gents. He's a puss. He's a yeah, liar. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they yeah. smell blood. Right? You have to yeah. shut him yeah. down. So that, yeah. that's like what but monkeys do. That yeah. thing just challenged you. Yeah. It's like, ooh, and then you're like, oh, is this guy? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can yeah. be like, can you please? I am the big dog. Yeah. yeah. I have the It's monkey. very childish, though. But it is childish. You have to say it. Yeah, so. yes. <laughs> yeah I'm like, can I just, before we wrap up, you were saying how many people you follow on Instagram. I don't know why you were flexing. How many comics you do? You comics understand you much more. I feel like now, when I've been in the game, I don't know why I said that. Like, I, like I'm a rapper. Yeah. Yo, bro, I've been in this game for 19 years. You wanna fight me? Fight these tears. <laughs> MC Jams. You don't know nothing about bars. Yeah. <laughs> what do you wanna say, boy? But. Um, with that whole thing, I feel like comics, I can really hang with comics for. Like comics, I just understand, they know the struggle, bro. Right? Yeah, it's shit Some experience. Comics. Yeah. Some comics. Hmm? Some comics. Yeah, okay, let, let me not be too general. Not all of you. Don't think now's the time to like hit me up and be like, oh, you said it's cool to chill with comics. No. Let's hang out. No, no. But I, I feel like some of my, like, bros really don't understand what, what I get from doing comedy. Like, the high I feel, like you, I don't know, I'd like to kill, but it doesn't always happen. But I still <laughs> feel so good knowing that I did it. Yeah. I mean, that's why we do it. Yeah. For, like, probably because for they, don't, they don't see a financial, like, thing to it. Probably why they just like, why do you? Yeah. Can, yeah, it can be, fuck, I so badly want to start earning money from comedy. Just because, like, like sometimes I am using my last, like, 100 rand to Uber to and from the gig. And it's like, it's, I definitely saw it as a meme the other day where it's like, they should, if they're charging ticket price, they should at least give us like gas yeah, yeah, money. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, oh yeah, I'm like, but that whole, like, I'm glad they're gigs back in Cape Town, but also, if they're paid gigs, the money should flow downstream. Yeah. <laughs> Trickle down economics doesn't work. Or tell the people, like, I told you for my show on the 23rd, shout out, <laughs> I'm hosting at Underground Bar. Landstone. I told you guys the, the budget is cuck. So, uh, yeah. It's cuck for you guys, the budget. <laughs> for me, it's good. There's yeah. it's like an element of like paying your school fees. But like also, uh, when Gino was on, yeah. he was like, on this podcast, I mean, uh, he was like, if you want to make money, like start, like run a gig. Like, yeah. Yeah. And it, I don't want to lie to you, it made me want to quit my job. And just be a starving is. artist. I have thought about that, that whole the idea that... The children's and I! No, but there's another one. I feel like when I was... Early when I started comedy, I was more hungry. Mm. Like very much a lot of doing years. I was like not sleeping, getting burnt out. But now I'm also just like, yeah, I'm comfortable. I do still like kind of feel like it's a uh, luxury 
to like turn a gig down, like. Yeah, I don't really do gigs. I can't afford to sing. I don't do gigs. Yeah, I, unless I'm like sick or like. I I feel like yeah. so uh, like flattered anytime anyone asks me like, hey, got a gig. I don't. I'm like it, it's about goddamn. <laughs> I also feel like when Mario invited yeah. me to uh, Blue Lounge recently, I was like, he's, he's like, are you free with the thing? I'm like, I'll tell you if I'm free. I'll yeah, tell yeah, you. Here's the link to my Google account. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you guys ask to be on yeah. your gigs? Yeah. Dude, I, yeah. if okay. you have that thing of not asking, you will get booked once a year. You'll have a one man show once a year. <laughs> you'll do a 10 minute yeah. one man show. I have a rule though now. I do. I used to be like almost nag. Like I'll be like, I can I look to the judge respond now. I'll be like, okay, no, I'm very, I ask once, just for my own peace of mind. If they don't respond, if they say, oh, who cares? And then they just never do it. Mm. Just like, I I, mean, I, I like mm. thought that you weren't like supposed to initially, but now I'm asking. Like that, that Lover's Burgers uh, mm. gig. That Mario did the other day. I just saw the poster and I was like, "This is mm -hmm. around the corner from me. Please, can I put this straight?" And then when I got there, there were like like food vouchers for the yeah. comics, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." And he was like, "Yeah, this isn't for the people who asked to be on." <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> and I was like, "Shade, that's fair. Shade, it had already been arranged. Separation. <laughs> Shade. I remember sharing. Uh, I want to be clear. I, I remember romantically sharing a pizza okay. with Tula Caesar and was at Bruno. And I think Sipo, I did that whole like white people usually do it like, are you sure you don't want? And then they're like, yeah, we actually want. I was like, fuck. Nah, not me. Don't <laughs> want. I didn't eat. Oh yeah, you didn't. You got your own thing. I had just a vodka. I was straight. I don't eat before I said. You did say that. Uh, I don't. I break that rule immediately. I yeah, I sometimes I sometimes I do feel like nervy and I. I like don't want to eat yeah. for a set. Like uh, this Wednesday, I do uh, because I uh, there had been four hours and do I like not forgot drink once heavy, Kevin. No, I yeah. used to. I did a set drunk once. It's it's so bad. No, yeah. For I comedy, know. comedy died that night. And yeah, like, no, no way. It's so, it's yeah, you, it's yeah. so bad. It's so unprofessional. Cause some people have worked for every. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm getting to motivational speech level. Some people work very hard to be there. You just gacking on the stage. And you have to value people's time. Yeah. Who yeah. are you? Are you a worm? Are you a boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never, I've always, just because I'm like, I've been scared of like, just forgetting my shit. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever had more than like three beers before my set. Wow. Um, for <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. before we wrap up, can we, any gigs coming up that we can use? Um, Rose Batter's coming up and I do it anymore. That's no, announce it because no. that was uh, But I, uh, yeah. My next gig is the Jam Jam's gig. Yeah, same. Uh, Jam Jam, 23rd of September. Mm. Underground. Uh, underground. Underground. Ground bar. Com ground bar. No, dude, you, you're killing the whole thing. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, Kenworth. Ground bar. Tickets are 50 rand. They sell them fast. I'm going to put up a 80% sold sticker <laughs> to trick you guys very soon. And then I'm gonna say sold out, even though you'll see empty spaces there. That's how we do. Jam jam all day long. This is how we do it. I've done this like a translation one. thing before, where it's like selling fast equals we've sold three <laughs> tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to rap people who say they're coming. I'm like, they're like, yeah, close to the time. I'm like, close to the time. So foot, bitch. Give me that fifty rand. I'm spending fifty. I, I'm about to go spend it right now, guys. I, I, not, I didn't realize. I was worried, but like I realized recently that that gig is on payday. Because it's yep. well for most people. Because it's well, cause if you, you get paid on the twenty fifth, that will be your your it. payday. Why do you think I put it on that day? Smart too. And the comics get free drinks. Yay! Woo! Jamal is such a cool host. Woo! That is that's that's cool as fuck. I'm yeah. Very excited. Is that pizza? How many free drinks? No pizza, except for me and the headliner. Woo! Host, <laughs> headliner privileges, come on! Is that the yeah. 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 Guys, yeah. we riot. <laughs> <laughs> we riot. Remember, remember that mini coup d'etat we had? I, why were we, I, me and Kumo were so frustrated for coming. I felt so bad after that. I felt like a dick. Actually, I didn't know that. But um, after that uh, gig at Havana, we were like, Nah, probably guys could have given us oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know it was because I charge you money. But it was very, it was a very bitch nigga thing for me to do. But 
we have those comments. They, they, they took it on board because I did Havana after that, and they, you get a drink. I think you did Havana as a white guy after that, no, and they were like, this guy is the like, white man ripping off of the black man struggle. Yeah, did he? Do all the work they get. Yeah, they get all the credit. Like, you know what? I fucking hate white people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, thank you guys. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you, Jam. Thank you. Thanks, sorry, better car shift, better roll. <laughs> you heard it, yeah. I don't, I don't make the rules, guys. Fourth point, oh.